Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we wanted to give you a quick introduction to a brand new product line called Hybrid Infinity. It features a heavier duty coil than we've really ever seen used before in an online mattress. So we're excited to show it to you. Stick around. So overall, you're going to find three models in this new Hybrid Infinity line. Uh, a firm, a standard, and a luxury. And let's just talk about prices. The firm is going to retail for $8.99 in a queen size. The standard is going to be $11.99 and the luxury is going to be $14.99. And those would all be before any good bed discounts would be applied. Now in terms of the features that all of these models have in common, as I alluded to up front, one of the key reasons we wanted to bring this product line to your attention is because uh, we're impressed with the sturdy coils that this is using. They're using uh, uh, in fact, in the firm model, they're using an 11 and a half gauge coil. In these two models, they're using a 12 and a half gauge coil. Now, the way wire gauge works is the lower the number, the sturdier the coil. It means like a thicker, heavier duty wire. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, the thicker and heavier duty the wire, the sturdier the coil, the better it should hold up over time. So we know there's a lot of people out there who want to buy a mattress with coils that are made to stand the test of time. And these, these products that have really as low of a wire gauge as we've seen, particularly on the online mattress front, are gonna be, we think, uh, probably about your best bet on that front. So uh, certainly wanted to single out that feature that they all have in common. Beyond that, they all also feature gel memory foam, as well as uh, a, a cooling cover that has a, a real palpable coolness to the touch uh, on account of phase change material that's, uh, that's used on this cover. So all of them have that very noticeable uh, cooling cover and cooling feel when you lay down on them. In terms of other key features, uh, you're obviously going to notice they have a pretty similar look to one another, although each, each one has a slightly different cover pattern. Um, they have this kind of nice uh, blue toned side panel, um, as well as these, these sturdy functional handles that you can actually use to pick up and move the mattress around. And then the last thing I want to touch on that relates to this entire product line uh, would be the warranty. And if you've watched other reviews we've done, you may remember that we don't always really emphasize the warranty. In fact, in a lot of cases, we, we, we de-emphasize the warranty because we don't really feel like uh, it it's should be a significant part of your consideration of a mattress. And that's partly because of how manufacturers define an allowable body impression, which in a lot of cases becomes such a big loophole that the warranty almost uh, doesn't offer you much protection. In this case, however, uh, we want to certainly call positive attention to the fact that this manufacturer is uh, backing up the fact that this is a durable mattress with a warranty that defines an allowable impression as three quarters of an inch, which is on par with the best, uh, most premium memory foam brands and their definition of an allowable body impression. And on top of that, they're willing to extend that warranty forever. So that even goes well above and beyond what is uh, standard. And they are also willing to do that on a non-prorated basis. So even further extending, I think, the kind of backing up of, of the product. So what that means is that if at any point in time, in the future, forever, during the time that you own this mattress, it develops a visible body impression greater than three quarters of an inch, they will replace this mattress for you. So I do definitely think that that's something that you can take stock in as you evaluate this mattress. So now we're going to get into some of the specific features and characteristics of these three models. And we're going to start on the firm, the entry level model. Uh, this one I think is particularly intriguing because it, it's uh, kind of a exercise in contrasts here. Um, you have on top here two inches of three pound density gel memory foam followed by an inch of kind of a transition foam, a six inch pocketed coil unit with about 800 pocketed coil density and then you've got a, uh, an inch of or so of uh, support foam underneath that for the coils to rest on. So it's a 10 inch total mattress um, and uh, I guess what I find so intriguing about it is the contrast between those extra sturdy coils that I referred to earlier in that uh, 11 and a half gauge wire uh, with this very soft memory foam on top. So like, look, look how easily I can uh, press in the top cover here. It's just, it's got a lot of softness in those top two inches, but underneath that is very firm coils. I mean, come down with my whole 200 pounds and I just, you know, look, even, even as I put my knees into it, you can compare this to any other mattresses we review and um, 
we, you can see that my knees go into this way less than the typical mattress. So basically you really have um, a bit of a yin and yang here where there's some, some nice soft uh, pressure relieving memory foam up on top, but underneath that, some really firm, rigid coils. So I think for, um, certainly for back sleepers, this is gonna be a nice match. Uh, I think that for uh, lighter side sleepers who aren't gonna necessarily make their way much through the uh, lighter and or less curvy side sleepers who maybe can just kind of float on top of this top layer without necessarily hitting that rigid coil unit. That could be a good option, but also heavier sleepers. So if people who need that extra uh, support from those coils could be a good fit for this. So there's a number of uh, sleeper types that I think uh, this combination could end up working out well for. Now we'd also just, I wanna point out, we would classify this on our softness scale as probably I would struggle just because of this contrast, but somewhere between a firm and a medium firm, most likely. Um, net, my inclination is to call it a firm, but I'm certain that people lighter than me could easily perceive it as having more softness than that. And likewise, people heavier than me might feel like this is pretty rigid. So uh, I'll just call it somewhere between those two. And then I would say for sure, shallower than average cushioning depth. Uh, getting more of that floating on top sensation, particularly as memory foam mattresses go. So now we've moved up to the standard model, the middle one in the line. And this one is gonna have a pretty similar feel to the, uh, the firm that we just talked about, but just a little bit more softness. And that softness is gonna come from a couple of factors. Uh, number one is that you're gonna find about a half inch more memory foam on the top of this one. And the other is the fact that, as we mentioned, you're gonna go from an 11 and a half gauge coil to a 12 and a half gauge coil. But, but overall, we would still classify this one as just a little to the firm side of medium we call it a medium firm on our softness spectrum and you can see maybe uh, just a little deeper uh, cushioning as well we might call this like average cushioning depth um, but you're still gonna notice even with the 12 and a half gauge coils that you know you you don't go nearly as deep into the mattress uh, when I get my knees and my full weight on it and stuff and press into it as uh, as I do on most mattresses uh, but I go a little bit deeper than I do, of course, on, on the firm model. So now we've moved up to the top model in this Hybrid Infinity line, which they call the Luxury. And this is gonna have, for sure, in this line, the most softness and the most cushioning depth. And that's on account of the fact that you're gonna get three inches of gel memory foam at the top of this mattress. Uh, I will still point out, though, that uh, you're gonna get, because of the coils underneath, you're still gonna get kind of a healthy amount of bounce uh, from the mattress, as, as well as, uh, you know, you're still gonna benefit from those 12 and a half gauge coils as, as far as uh, the amount of overall deflection you're gonna see um, when you get even all your weight in a concentrated place on this mattress. So still, you, you're still getting those very sturdy 12 and a half gauge coils. Um, but overall, you can see that as I, as I lie on this mattress, uh, we would call this deeper than average cushioning because I'm certainly getting more of a hugged or cradled sensation from this model. And we would say that overall though, the kind of net effect of the softness on top here with the firmer coils underneath would put this one at about a medium as far as our softness scale is concerned. And this would probably be a good model for me to illustrate the uh, general amount of memory feel that you're gonna experience on these mattresses, which is gonna be the most pronounced on this one because it has the most memory foam in it. Uh, but you can see here that they're all gonna have to some degree that kind of uh, delayed responsiveness that memory foam is known for. Um, and so again, just to summarize who's gonna be the best type of sleeper for this particular model, I would say like if you are a side sleeper or um, particularly like the lighter and or curvier you are, the more you're gonna to lean towards this uh, model as your choice within this lineup. Um, but I do again think that because of the sturdier coils underneath, it could still potentially work uh, for heavier folks too. And one last feature I just wanted to illustrate for you uh, on this luxury model, uh, but that applies to really all three of them is edge support. Uh, all three of these models do have a four inch uh, foam perimeter which gives them a nice solid edge. You can see right here, I'm uh, sitting on the edge with my feet dangling, so not even touching the ground and 
relatively minimal dip here. And I wanted to illustrate this on the luxury model because this would be the model that uh, would probably have the biggest challenge in having good edge support since it has the most cushioning foam on top. Uh, and nonetheless, you could still see that, of course, when I'm lying on the edge, I'm able to just lie on the edge with really uh, no problem. So uh, overall, certainly all of these models are gonna have uh, a nice, strong edge. So we hope you found this to be a helpful overview of the new Hybrid Infinity mattress line. For more information about this line or for help in finding the right mattress for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we really hope you sleep well. Thank you.